Hi, my name is Mike, and I'm going to be making this video to show how to upgrade a Linksys WRT3200ACM router to DDWRT firmware. DDWRT firmware is great, gives you a lot of uh, advantages over stock firmware, and in order to keep this video short, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of details. I just want to show you the basics of how to do this, which I should be able to accomplish here in about five minutes. So I have the router here set up in my home office. I just got it out of the box a few minutes ago. I haven't even installed the antennas on it yet. I download the latest version of the DDWRT firmware. You want to make sure that you download this from the betas folder on the FTP site. Um, I'll include a link to that in the description of this video. And typically, uh, you can do a little research on the version. It usually starts with R44849 in this screenshot, for example. Um, they release new versions every few days. But always grab the one from the betas form rather than the router database, which is very old. So you want to grab the file that says factory to ddwrt.bin. And I'm using two computers for this. I have my desktop set up and also my laptop. And then I just grabbed a little flash drive to transfer the file off of my desktop and onto my laptop. So over here on the screen of the laptop, which is connected to from the Ethernet port to ETH1 port on the new router, I've got the flash drive plugged in. That flash drive has the factory to DDWRT bin file on the flash drive. So when you power up the the router for the first time, it's um, you're going to get the Linksys Smart Wi-Fi setup screen when you go to 192.168.1.1. And the first time I did this, I was kind of confused by this screen, so I'll just point it out here. Uh, you can check or don't check these; it doesn't really matter the terms and conditions. But what you want to make sure that you click on down here at the bottom is manual configuration. If you accidentally hit next over here, the only way I was able to find to get back to the Smart Wi-Fi setup screen. Um, was to use the reset button on the back of the modem or the uh, back of the router. Um, otherwise, if you hit next, it'll try to detect your cable modem and do all these other annoying things, which we don't want to do because we're not going to be using the Linksys firmware. So, you want to hit manual configuration. Let's pause the video for a second. So once it goes through that manual configuration, it's going to come back to this internet connection is down screen, which obviously it's down. I'm, this is just sitting here on my desk. It's not plugged into my cable modem or anything else, which is all in my network closet. So what all we were trying to do is get to the administration screen to install the firmware. So we're going to hit login. Access the router, which is admin, A-D-M-I-N. Sign in. And you can see here the stock links is firmware. I already spent a few minutes looking through it. And it's really basic. Uh, doesn't provide anything close to the capabilities that uh, DDWRT firmware does. So since I'm going to be blowing all this out, it doesn't matter that you see my Wi-Fi settings now. Um, so let's see. So once you're done looking at the stock settings, you want to come over here to the connectivity menu. And then over here on the right hand side, this says router firmware update. We have automatic settings, check for update, and then manual choose file. So you want to make sure you do manual choose file. And then I'm going to grab the um, Factory to DD, sorry, factory to DDWRT bin. And then we'll just hit start. And it's going to throw a warning that it doesn't recognize the file name. Are you sure you want to continue? Press yes. And it's going to say the firmware of the router is going to reboot. Press yes. This is going to install the firmware update, which takes another minute or so. I'll go ahead and pause the video again. And that's pretty much it. Once your router finishes rebooting, you should be able to go back to the 192.168.1.1 address in your browser. And you'll now see the new DDWRT firmware 
login screen where it asks you to create an administrator password and once you do that you'll be able to have access to the full configuration of the router. So as I said before I don't want to get into a whole lot of details I do really like DDWRT firmware I've been using it for about the last 15 years. Um, you can always research online Wikipedia various uh, blogs um, the DDWRT forums which are also very helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If this video was helpful to you, please give me a thumbs up and a like and a uh, subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. Thanks. Have a great day, and stay safe. Um, oh, one other thing, which I guess I should mention. If you do feel like you made a mistake and you want to revert to the factory Linksys firmware, there are two firmware partitions on the device. Instructions are online that tell you how to switch back and forth between the two different partitions. I found it was easier. Um, if you decide you don't like DDWRT and you want to go back, just go to the Linksys.com support page and where you can re-download the factory firmware. And I'll just show you that here real quick. I gotta make a password. So if you feel like you made a mistake and you want to go back to the factory Linksys firmware, it's the process of the reverse of the installation is just uh, download the Linksys firmware and go through the firmware upgrade in DDWRT and just quote unquote upgrade it back to the Linksys firmware. Hope that helps. Thanks again.